What is up guys and I could have just seen what is possibly one of my favorite Greek mythology inspired cinematic things <laughs> and it's all on YouTube and you can watch it too. So I accidentally found this film. It is a 24 minute film based on the Bacchae by Euripides. And this one is by Jay Landon Marcus and Joanna Warren. So I was just flipping through things like I said on YouTube and I happened to run across this. So what is the Bacchae? The Bacchae is the story of Pentheus. King Pentheus that is the king of Thebes. Theba. And he does not believe in the worship of Dionysus or Dionysus. And so he wants to outlaw it and he denies the deity that is Dionysus. He says that Dionysus is not a true God and that his worshipers are a cult. And you have the cult of Dionysus, for lack of a better term, that dances in the woods and does rituals to Dionysus in the wilds, which is very strange to the people. And so, because he's questioning the deity that is Dionysus and his deityhood, Dionysus is offended and eventually gets his revenge on the king. So that's the short of the Bacchae. And so, like I said, when I was looking for videos of the Bacchae, the play by Euripides, I found this and I was really impressed by the visuals of this film. It's very highly well done, but you can tell that it was also done on no budget in a way. What makes this film really interesting also is that you notice that they have all original songs, so it's all a musical. The Bacchae is a musical in this version. And what I like about it is that you get to see the main ads, the worshippers of Dionysus, and they really emphasize the sexual innuendos of the ritual to Dionysus. We always say that the pine cone is the phallus and grapes can be genitals and so forth, and they really emphasize that in this film, and they don't shy away from it. The only negative I can say about this film is that you cannot really wrap up the entire play in 24 minutes. But what they did capture, they capture the essence of the play. When you watch it, you feel very, like there's a dread to it, that the moral of the story is still played through, that you don't question the gods or things don't turn out right for you is basically how it is. But there are key parts that if you pretty much have to know the Bacchae, the story to really fully grasp what's going on in the film. But that's not to say that it's not a beautiful movie. And it is a movie. I would say that this is probably one of my favorite Greek mythology interpretations I've ever seen. And that's including Hollywood films too. This is definitely up there. So some scenes that you don't get to see is the trial of Dionysus. And you don't really get to hear the explanations of why the king is going to be punished and so forth. There are certain things of, that's missing. And the big scene at the end of the movie or the end of the play is that, that the king's bro mother is the one that ends up killing the king. And that's shown, but it's not really explained. You don't really understand that this is his mother until they have to flat out tell you at the end. There's no lead up to it. It's like, kind of like the best of scenes put into this film. Another thing that's interesting also is that in the film they use uh, the goat a lot. Dionysus, or Dionysos, is the two-horned god which is usually a reference to the bull. But in this film, they use a goat, which kind of gives a horror 
kind of feel to it because you're used to seeing films like The Witch that uses the goat. And so it kind of gives a horror feel to it. But it's definitely a tragedy. Like I said, it's all original songs. Some of it feel like pagan folk music. And then when the king tells his story, it's kind of a modern um, rap, almost, almost like a rap, but not in a funny way, but in a serious way. And it comes across. And by the end of the film, you really do feel the dread. And the message, again, is really played. And as for the cast, the cast is really well done. I like Dionysus in this film. He's really an interesting look. And he plays it for joy and seriousness. So you get to see both sides of it. That Dionysus, at the end of the play, is laughing and dancing with his worshipers. Even though he was the cause of the king's brutal and very nasty death. So you get to see that you don't want to mess with this god, is what you see. So overall, the moral of the story of this 25-minute film is that I was super impressed. It's broken off into sections through the film. They tell you the different acts, and it's just done really well. So definitely check out the Bakai that is on YouTube. I'm going to post a link on it. It is the Bakai by J. Landon Marcus and Joanna Warren. That was put out a couple of years ago, and I've never seen it. No one's ever told me about it. So I'm telling you about it. Check it out, and you will really enjoy it.